Hi, right, welcome to Nature with Joe Perillo. I'm your host, Joe Perillo. Mountain gorillas have been known to eat roots, fruits, shoots, wild celery, and tree bark. Mmm, delicious! Those who challenge the alpha male are apt to be cowed by impressive shows of physical power. He may stand upright, throw things, make aggressive charges, and pound his huge chest while barking out powerful hoots or unleashing a frightening roar. A damn good website. Full grown male gorilla can stand five and a half feet tall, while the obviously inferior female gorillas only stand four and a half to five feet. They can still weigh 300 to 450 pounds. Think Rosie O'Donnell, but smaller! Oh dear God, they're everywhere! Vinny, run for your life! Oh my God! To fully immerse ourselves in mountain gorilla culture, we've decided to forage like mountain gorillas. Oh my God, Vinny, what are you doing? Gorillas are much like New Yorkers. They don't like water. The only water I haven't touched is ice. I never even shower. <coughs> yeah, see what I mean? Hey, wake up, Wills Carberry. This one's for you. We're talking about gorilla populations here. There are only like 5,000 gorillas left out there. Think about that. You think about that, and you give us some money then. We gotta save these things, the big Rosie O'Donnell-like fuzzy mountain gorillas. Come on. You know you want more than 5,000. Let's talk about the more intimate parts of a gorilla's life. Their mating season goes on all year, and they got a gestation period of eight and a half months. A little bit like uh, Rosie O'Donnell. So basically, gorillas are really freaking cool. Here's what they do to show their aggression. They throw vegetation. They beat their chest with cupped hands. They pull one-legged kicks and stuff. They, they run sideways. Who does that? They, they thump the ground with their palms to end displays. And they slap and tear vegetation like madmen. A little bit like uh, Rosie O'Donnell. Gorillas are greatly threatened by civil unrest in African countries. However, in a hypothetical situation in which they acquire the ability to operate firearms, I'm going to take gorillas. We'll be back with more nature and stuff in a second after these messages. Who the hell took my hand? Hello, I'm Templeton Willoughby. With our groundbreaking new product, shampoo is a thing of the past. Let me show you. I waste money on expensive personal hygiene products when one gorilla can do the job of 18 different shampoos. This is a lifetime investment, people. Act now. Call 1 800 Hair Ape to get your gorilla today. That's H A I R A P E. <laughs> Product not tested on humans. Do, uh, do, do not use if operating machinery or operating pregnancy. They don't pay me enough for this. Sorry, folks, back to nature with Joe Perillo. When the dominant male silverback dies or is killed by disease, he leaves his family vulnerable to take over by a new silverback, who will probably kill the old silverback's babies. No wonder there aren't enough of them. This, my friends, is infanticide. So gorillas are in danger because people are hunting them for bush meat. So I was in a deli in New York, right? And I ordered the bushmeat bonanza, thinking, hey, could be a party in my mouth, something different. Never tried bushmeat. So I take a bite, and it tastes like shit. Gorillas are ground dwelling and live in groups of 6 to 12, with the oldest and largest silverback leading a family of females. Heh, <laughs> hot. Their young and younger males are called blackbacks. The silverback makes the decision on when his family group wakes up, eats, moves, rests, and breathes. Humans and gorillas are genetically similar enough that gorillas are vulnerable to many of the same diseases as humans. However, gorillas have not developed the immunities to resist human diseases, and infections could severely impact the population. 
Gorillas are threatened by habitat loss due to increasing human populations, poaching, and diseases like Ebola, whatever that is. 25 distinct vocalizations are recognized, many of which are used primarily for group communications within dense vegetation. Sounds classified as grunts and barks are heard most frequently while traveling and indicate the whereabouts of individual group members. They may also be used during social interactions when discipline is required. Screams and roars signal alarm or warning and are most often produced by silverbacks. Deep rumbling belches suggest contentment. Gorillas can climb trees. That's it. He's got arms like legs. He's got hands on his feet. He's got a nose like a donut. He's got a tendency to overeat. Don't use tools or weapons. So that was nature with Joe Perillo. There you go. It's a wrap. Let's get the hell out of here, boys. Yes! Thank God! Oh my God!